Hey guys, I am here with another book review for you. As you know, if you've watched any of my book reviews before, I definitely tend to lean toward the mystery thriller, like murder mystery, psychological thriller, those types of books are like what I like. So that's pretty much what I review. Um, I think occasionally I'll have some different ones that kind of roll in just, you know, because sometimes I like to switch it up a little, but for the most part, these are the types of books I like to read. So the one I want to talk to you about today <clears throat> is The Dark Room by Minette Walters. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Like, okay, so my last book review was for, it was called Third Degree. That book was awesome too. Like, I totally love that book, but I like this one even better. And before I get into it, I will read the little blurb to you about what it's about. So it says the author of the critically acclaimed Edgar winning Edgar award winning novel The Sculptress in the Scold's Bridal weaves a spelling spellbinding tale of suspense and psychological terror. Now I want to read these other books because this book was so good. I definitely want to read more from this author. It says when Jinx Kingsley, respected fashion photographer and only daughter of millionaire Adam Kingsley, is found unconscious in the wreckage of a mysterious car accident on an abandoned airfield. The police suspect a suicide attempt. Blood samples taken at the scene reveal an alarmingly high blood alcohol level. An author and authorities discover that just one day prior to the accident, neighbors found an unconscious jinx parked in her garage with the car engine running. Matters are further complicated when it's learned that Jinx's fiance has run away with her best friend and neither can be located for questioning. Dazed, confused, and suffering from post-traumatic amnesia, Jinx is placed in an exclusive private clinic where she struggles to regain her memory with the help of Dr. Alan Prothero. As their professional relationship grows and the dialogue between them deepens, Prothero starts to see Jinx as the woman she really is, brilliant, strong-willed, and by her own admission, far too proud to kill herself. At first, Jinx can remember nothing about her alleged suicide attempt, but with Prothero's help, memories begin to resurface, memories of desperation and absolute terror. Minette Walters has taken the world of crime fiction by storm, reaching new heights with each superbly crafted tale. Walters makes an art of uncertainty by twisting familiar conventions of the traditional Br British mystery into a stylish, non-traditional mystery in which ambiguity abounds, said the New York Times book review of her debut, The Ice House. With The Dark Room, Minette Walters solidifies her position as the front runner among today's best writers of suspense. I can see why. Because... Oh my gosh, this book is so good. Okay, so Jinx Kingsley grew up rich. Her dad's a millionaire. He's well known for being like a formidable kind of figure. Um, people don't want to mess with him because some shady things have happened to people who kind of crossed him. So um, I, I don't want to give away any of this book because I want you to read it. Okay, so Jinx has been married before. Her husband... Her previous husband was murdered, or I guess it's the only husband she had, was murdered. Um, the murderer was never found, and uh, it was never solved, you know. And so then um, she has been engaged to this guy, and ends up her fiancé tells her he wants to marry her best friend instead. And there's all these things going on with her, like looking as though she's attempted suicide but she can't remember but she knows like that's not me like I wouldn't do that and the other people around her are like that's just not her personality like she would not have done that and like it's just twist and turns and I'm telling you what I'm usually pretty good at pinpointing like who did things in a book and whatever this book totally screwed me up like I thought I knew and then it was like oh no it can't be oh I think I know oh no maybe like I mean I, until the end, when they kind of revealed who it was, I think I might have realized, like, just before, maybe. Maybe I'm giving myself too much credit. I can't remember now. But, I mean, it is right, literally at the end of the book that you're finding out who actually did this. And please, if you read this, let me know if you guessed ahead of time because I didn't. <laughs> um, and that's what I love. I don't want a book to be predictable. I hate when you read like a suspense thriller or something and the whole time you're like, oh, and then you're like, I think it's this person. And it ends up being, you're like, well, geez, I could have saved myself all this time of reading because I already knew who it was. I mean, not that the book isn't good otherwise, but you know what I'm saying? Like, 
it is awesome to find a book that literally keeps you guessing until the very end. Like I, it totally threw me. And so, um, there are seriously so many twists and turns in this book that you would never expect. Like it is crazy and it is amazing. So The Dark Room by Manette Walters, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. I will leave a link down below. I usually try to link to like Amazon or somewhere where you can purchase the book if you're interested in it. Um, this is one I, I guarantee, there is no way you can read this book and not enjoy it. Like if you like these types of books, if you like a suspense thriller, you know, kind of book like that just keeps you guessing and wondering and throws in information and different things that are just like, what, what? Like, and you know, things that where you think you know what's going on and then something comes in that just turns it upside down where, no, it can't be that. And like this book totally does that. I love this book so much. This book and The Fate of Catherine Carr, I would say are my two favorite books that I've read in the past year or so. Like it is so good. So I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend this to you if you are a reader. You will want to check this out. And I can't wait to pass it on to one of my sisters or my mom. We kind of pass books around because I know they are going to love this book. So um, I should have given it to my sister. Well, I couldn't because she was just here, but she just left. And so if I gave her the book, then I couldn't show it to you for this. So that won't work. But but I'm going to be sending this to her because she's a, um English lit teacher and she loves to read. We all of us grew up with a love of reading. So um but I know she will love this book. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this book review. I don't want to give too many details away because, because I can't like, or if I do, it kind of takes away, you know what I mean? Like some books you can kind of give a lot of detail and it won't really, you know, whatever, but there are so many different aspects of this that for one thing, it would take me kind of forever to talk about it. And secondly, I just don't want to give too much information because it's so good and I want you to be able to read it on your own. And I totally just spit. Sorry about that. Um, no, I'm not. I always spit. But it's so good. So thank you guys so much for watching. And if you read this, please let me know what you think of it. And please let me know if you guess ahead of time who did it because, oh my gosh, it's good. So, all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you very soon. Bye.